And now for a bit of positive news. Next week, Israel will mark Jerusalem Day, and a small group of children will celebrate in a very special way by traveling to the Israeli capital to pray at the Western Wall for the hostages held in Gaza and for the soldiers fighting in Israel's war fronts. It's an initiative of Yad Ezra Veshulamit, an organization which provides hundreds of children a hot meal every day. And now these children are asking you, ILTV viewers, to send your prayers for the occasion. You can do so by scanning the QR code on the screen below. And joining us now with more on this heartwarming initiative is Yad Ezra Veshulamit's public advocate, best-selling kosher cookbook author, celebrity chef, television producer and businesswoman, Jamie Geller. Thank you for joining us Thank today. You. So first, if you would, what is the text of the special prayer? Crystal, thank you so much for having me again and for being such an incredible partner to Yad Ezra Vashula Meets. We are going to be going to Jerusalem to re recite the Shema. So the text of the prayer, Shema Israel, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. It's the proclamation of the oneness of God and that God is everywhere in our happiest of times and in our darkest of times and everywhere in between. This special prayer encapsulates the life of a Jew. It is the first thing we say in the morning. Um, it is, we say the prayer in the morning when we wake up. We say it in the evening before we go to sleep. It is the first thing we teach our children when they are born. And it is the last prayer on our lips before we die. Everyone should live a long and happy life. But it is a proclamation of the oneness and greatness of God and that we believe in him and his plan for all of us. And what is the power of the kids' prayer? There is nothing like their pure souls praying, as we said, for the return of our hostages, for the success and safety of our soldiers, and for you. We are asking everyone, please, everyone has been such a partner in feeding these hungry children and feeding the orphans and the Yad Ezra Shulamit, Shulamit Children's Centers. And we are asking everyone to submit a prayer for yourself. I'm sure there will be a link here so that they can submit it because the power of children's prayers are unmatched and even more so there is a power to the collective prayer when we all come together we will be live on june 4th on tuesday around 6 p.m you can follow we'll be catching it on iltv we'll be also on my facebook on my jamie geller facebook page me and together with the children we will um print all of the prayers that you send in and we will separate them so that we can say all the prayers for you in addition of course to our hostages and soldiers and so you're saying that our viewers are invited to send in prayer requests. Yes, we are so thankful. The viewers of ILTV have been so supportive of the children, of the needy, and of feeding the hungry children, as I said, and orphans here in Israel. This is our show of appreciation, and you are invited to please submit your prayer requests, and the children and I will say those prayers at the Western Wall on Jerusalem Day. And not only prayer requests, I mean, what can our viewers do to help the prayers of the children actually be realized? Well, first of all, you can join us in prayer. There is a power to the collective prayer when we all gather together and united. So that is very critical and crucial that you join and pray with us. And of course, you can continue to support the children. The holiday of Shavuot is coming up. You can feed an orphan with a food basket for the holiday. There are thousands of orphans. Please, please help and continue to support the children. You've always done it, and we, we count on you for your continued support. So, Jamie, next week is Jerusalem Day. Will you be back to tell us about how it went? Yes, and not only will we show you the prayer, if in case you missed it live, we hope that in addition to sending in your prayer requests, when your prayers are answered, you share the joy and celebration with us. So we hope for this back and forth communication so that we can help each other, pray for each other, and celebrate the success of our prayers being answered. Jamie Geller, thank you again for joining us, and the entire ILTV team sends our prayers as well. Thank you. And if you want to send your prayers, remember to scan the QR code on the screen now.